But look at the size of the steps down into this. Imagine the work it took to build this vault and that big Celtic cross, about 50 feet tall it is. And that's inside the vault. I don't know, can I see anything in there? Oh, there is. Oh, there's lead coffins in there, guys. So it looks like Mr. Arthur, or Herbert, is interred in here. Now I'm going to take the phone off the gimbal so I can have a better look. So guys, this is the vault here, where we came. And I'll just show you behind me. There's the stairs that leads down into the vault and goes back up there, up into the graveyard. So I'm going to look in this side first and hopefully I'll be able to show you and focus the camera. And there's one lead coffin there you can see on a shelf and it's all designed inside the vault like red brick you can just see the, the lead coffin on the shelf. And there's another one then the other side. There guys, you can see the coffin. And you can see the metal, the studding, the studs around the coffin. That is the coffin of the man interred here in the vault where you see in the big high Celtic cross. Or it's one of those coffins, I believe. And it could be this one, because it does look like he would be interred in this one. Because it does look um, different to the other ones that's in there. There's more detail on them. You can see the end of the coffin just there. And it's sitting on a shelf. The wooden shelves, they're all in the wooden shelves, the coffins. The shelving here as well on the right hand side, but they look like they're empty. You can see them all there, there's no coffins in them. So maybe they were thinking they would be there for other members of the family. There's a bee there now, be careful. There's a bee in the vault, guys. You can see him just there. Probably nesting in there. And is that Mr. Herbert, oh. maybe, in the afterlife, mm. reincarnated? Yeah, He's awesome. inside the vault. So that's the vault. Now I just focus the camera. So we're going back out now, myself and Sue, and we're going to go over around and look and try and see into the other vaults that's in the area. So that was the vault there of Henry Arthur Herbert. And he was connected to Muckross House in some way as well. And that's the steps down into the vault where I just showed you the coffins down there, the lead coffins. So it goes all the way back in here. So I'm going to bring you over here, guys and show you there's another vault here and this is the one for Charlie and Helen it says on those crosses and there's an old railing, a rusty railing around us so we're going to go down this one as well there's a number of vaults here to look at so I'm sure we're going to see a lot and there's all leaves And look at that old door. Look, an old rusty iron door that's been shut for a long, long time. There's some writing there. There's some writing on it there. But let's have a look inside. I think. Does you see it? An old wooden coffin and there's flowers left on top of it where the light is shining there. It's an old wooden coffin left in the corner of the vault and someone has left flowers on top of it. And I can't see 
to see, I can't seem to see anything else. There. There's another one on the other side as well. Just to the right of it. There's another coffin there. And there's a plaque on top of that coffin, so it probably says the name of the person that's interred. You can see the metal plate on top of the coffin. And that coffin is old and it's broken up looking as well. And I'm going to see, can I get a look in this way? Maybe just there you can see the coffin. It's broken away. So there's two coffins in here, and that's the husband and the wife. Helen, I think, and Charlie. It says on the monument above, are interred here. So I'm going to get Sue to look down, there's holes down the bottom here. So I'm going to see, will that do any, will that be any better looking in? That seems to be better there now. And see the lead coffin on the floor of the vault. There's the lead coffin on that side. There's the other one down on the floor and there's flowers left on top of that one. So I'm just going to guess and say that the one here on the left is the wife and the one on the right is the husband. With the flowers on it is the wife, I'd say. The flowers for the lady. And that's the coffin on the left. And we've seen the other one on the right side of the vault. And there's those old flowers, a wreath of flowers, of flowers left on top of the coffin. And and the white static night coming down from the ceiling of the vault as well. From dampness and through time. So let's go back up guys and see what else is around this old graveyard in Killarney it's just full of old headstones and vaults and you can hear the birds singing again lovely summer's day here and there's those tombs again an old crypt and vault And this one is not as far to go down. There's only two steps on this one to go down. The other one went down further. We were visiting. And look at the old door. And there's an old rusty iron door. So it's a small area to get down into. But we're going to have a look and see. And there's the monument up over it. And have a look. And there's some more leaves here. And I'm going to remove it so I might be able to see better. I'm just trying to focus the phone. There's a coffin there. There's a coffin there, you can see it in the corner. It's broken as well. I think that's all. And I think, is that all that's in there? I think so. There's one down in the corner there as well. You see the handle of it there? The coffin where the light is shining now. Oh, there's loads broken down at the There's loads there. of broken yeah. coffins. They look like they've all turned over or something. And you can see the handle on it of the coffin. 
I don't know if there's any bones. I can't see anything, can you? No. Then we're down in the floor area. And you can see the two handles, the coffin has fallen over on its side. Look at the old door. And the big old handle that used to went, the bar that used to go across. The door of it. Look at this one here, it's all stone. Very old looking one. And a slab on top. And I won't get to read any names on that, I think it's, it's way too old. And this place is covered in old monuments, vaults. And there's a really old crypt in here. Look at this one. It's covered in moss. Hey, look, come away from the and there's a door in it. Or sorry, a stone piece of big piece of stone with a ring handle on it. Like it was just but it's not covered fully. It seems to be look like after falling, I'd say. it's after falling. But I doubt there's anything in there now, I'd say it's we'll have a look in Wow, guys, that's a skull. I'm just going to look at the skull. There is one. There is one skull. Right. And over on the other side, there, there look at the eye sockets. Oh my God. The eye sockets. Must be very old. The old skull. That is very, very old. It's kind of and it does look like to me that it could be a child because it's a very small skull. It doesn't look like a, a an adult size skull. Coffin debris or I don't see any coffins. You no, know, it's is it one of those ones? Where no, we're... it could be like the one that Sue did in um, Limerick. Oh, there is a vertebrae there. I can see where my torch is going up there from the skull. There, this hole. Body is there, God help them. You can see the bones there, guys. The whole shape of the body. So I wouldn't think. Is just there. You can see all the spinal cords, the spine, and the bones, and the skulls all there. Look. That's so sad. So sad. The whole skeletal body is there it's all rubble inside there doesn't see i think they would have been left i think they would have been shells. buried down further i don't i don't know because or the this clay is seems there. to have moved away from it i can just see the full body there and it's just so sad you can see the it's skull like over the skull. other side as well there's oh. that skull on the other side of it but you can't see any body or bones on that side but on this side here you can see you could nearly see like the the, the whole shape yeah, of the body down to the pelvis down to the pelvis area. You can see there. Oh, no. I think is the pelvis area where my finger is. That's what I believe. And the bones and all there. That's very old. There's nothing dated on this that I can. See. I don't see any names on it or anything like that. Yes, something. But that's where we were. Look in that hole there where you've seen the skulls and the remains in there. It's all moss and grass on top. How's that? The whole roof is gone. The whole roof is gone. Sue was saying. That was the roof area. And it was just like it was made of stone. And you can see down into it. And there's one of the bones, guys, down there, look. We're looking in from the top part of this crypt. And there's one of the bones. Just there. You can see the bones. And we're looking in from the top part of it. So we're going to go down and have a look inside this vault. 
and the wind is picking up a bit now today because we're up near the mountains as well and look at the steps down into this one 1866 it says on the door going in like and Mount just have Jerome. Mount Jerome, yeah, with the ground doors, much very like them as well up in Dublin. So it says on it here, Family Vault of John Leahy, QC of South Hill, 1866. And there's the old handle on the door, look. And there's a few cobwebs on it, but I'm going to have a look in and see. Not sure what we're going to find. There is coffin. Now you can see a coffin there, guys. You see it? Large, the top of the coffin has broken in, like caved in on the top part of it. And I'd say it's probably just through weather and dampness and everything like that that they don't last. They just break away in time. You can see it all broken there on the top and the handles on the side of it. And it's probably a lead coffin. It's probably just timber on the outside and lead on the inside where we can't see the lead. And we've more on the, the ground there, we've more, I think there's another bit left. You can see on the ground. Not moving. There. See the there's something. There's something down there in the corner. I'd say. It's probably a coffin that has broken. See the concrete slab on the ground where it was left on. And see the red brick as well. They're all designed with the red brick inside the vaults. And I see, can I get a better view? There's the coffin there now. You can just see the coffin there, the handle on it. Now that's it there with the light. Oh, no. That's the coffin there, guys, in the vault. Not gonna get out of so that's the best there. view we're going to get of that. So back up. We'll go up the steps of this vault and look at the size of the steps. Big stone steps down into it. There's one next door as well. We'll have a look at that one. And there's the gate where we came in and the road goes all the way back down over there. Back onto the main road. And this is another vault and all the leaves have fallen down into this as well down the steps and i don't know what those big rings are on those vaults is that like the, that part of the vault was babe was you you might have been able to pull that out that area of it, design, was it? or is it just a design maybe i'm going to out, I see can i see a name on it the ground is bad again. arthur it looks like i can see a name there arthur it's hard to read it. It's kind of faded on it. Yeah, 18 something there with the torches. 18. 1860 something is on the date there. There's an Arthur. 1800, 1860 something there on it. Yeah. You can see. Everything else is. Just Everything else on. is all, yeah, faded away. We'll go down and have a look at this one, guys. The handle is different on this one. Now, there's a piece here in the ground, I don't That's know. That's from the top of it. That's from the top. It's like of an urn. An urn that has fallen off the top of it up there. Has come down here in front of the vault. And you can see it. Look at just the urn on it. You can see the top of the urn. There's all the designs in it, and all the leaves have taken over it. And this is a black door on this one. The urn has fallen from the top yeah. down inside the entrance of the vault. Wow, guys, the coffins in here, and they're very far down looking. Look at these ones. Yeah. And there, you can see, there's one coffin. They're about five or six feet or more yeah, yeah. from the entrance door of the vault below. I think there's about three or four. There's three or four. There now. There's one in the middle. 
there's one on the left of it and it looks like it's in better condition the handles are very strong it actually looks like a casket it looks very american looking yeah actually i think you're right i think it's in a casket like an american style casket it seems like isn't it So guys, I'm going to leave the video there and uh, thanks for coming on the walk with me around Killigy Old Historical Graveyard in Killarney, County Kerry.